Welcome to this episode of DIY3dtech.com. In this episode, we're going to be putting the new desktop CNC to work. So, my wife ordered these stools offline and uh, offline, online, I guess. Um, and, and one of the things, one of them came and one of the struts underneath uh, has a knot and it's cracked along the lines of this knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this CNC to cut out a little bit, a little brace, about a 70 by 20 millimeter brace to utilize to, to glue that up and make it solid again. So we're going to put this baby to work. So I'm going to go ahead and send the G-code to it and let's take a look at how it performs. Okay, here we are. I pulled the part off the bed and uh, it came out pretty darn nice. I am very happy with this, um, the way that this cut this. And I got to tell you guys, the noise, first off, this, this spindle didn't get hot at all. I checked it a couple times as we were going through with infrared thermometer. It didn't even get warm doing this little bit of cutting. I'm also very impressed with the, the torque it produces. Again, back in, in the, the vlog I mentioned, that this is kind of a low RPM but it does make some pretty good torque so I'm pretty impressed with this and again uh, had no problem cutting this out now I did run it a little bit slow I ran at 20 millimeters a second uh, believe a quarter millimeter per pass I wanted to take it easy because one of the things there is it's a rather long shank on um, between this top 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 of the motor and uh, well and I'm not sure if I can get you down here well let me tilt this up so and you can see a little bit better so the distance from here to the end of the tip there's a lot of lateral torque when it's going through so that's one of the things that really holds this up I wish I could get this this bit I get these uh, off of eBay actually rather cheap they're, they're um, uh, seconds from the aeronautics field sorry for bumping you there uh, and I'd like to get it up a little bit more because this this does provide a little bit of run out and torque against this which is a little bit of a problem if I was up I think I could go a little bit faster and I probably can go a little bit faster than what I went here uh, at 20 millimeters I think I could probably go 30 or I think I could change it for pretty close to um, a half a millimeter cut depth uh, one of the things I do have to work you notice I, I forget the numbers I use for the step um, but it comes and kind of stops and goes down and kind of stops and goes down. I, I took it rather light because I didn't know how much downward force and everything this could take. This is, again, just some light plywood, so it, it, it's pretty easy to cut, but it, it, it really cut it well. Noise was fantastic. You could get away with you, you using this in an apartment, I think, with very little issue. Um, you know, I'm going to try some plastic later on in another video, but, uh, you know, this wood for a hobby really cut nice. Now, one of the things that I want to point out here that you could probably do, and I will probably do to modify this, is I think I'm going to exchange these for some longer uh, legs. Um, because one of the things, you notice how close this comes to the front. So if, if I actually, I don't think I get my fingers, because that's one of the things I hate about this, is it doesn't have extended shafts. However, if one of the things you'll see, if I move this bed, basically till it's almost touching or it is touching up here I still can't get to the back of the bed here uh, however I have plenty of travel on the rods to do that um, so I think if these were I you know extended I'll have to do the math a little bit on it but I think if these were extended a couple inches I could get more bed travel on it and I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these out for ones that are a couple inches longer so I can move this gantry back a couple inches and I think I can gain a couple inches for free uh, on this so I'm going to give that a try in a future video and I'll let you guys know how it goes but I got to tell you for 200 bucks and about eight hours worth of work this is a heck of a little CNC. Rather clean too. It didn't throw a lot of dust particulates from this. And again, part of it is probably the uh, cutting bit I, I used. Um, but hey, it came out really good. 
Uh, hey, so if you got any questions about this, hit me up. I'll put the link down below to it on GearBest. Again, uh, that's where I got it from. Uh, so far, pretty happy with it. And uh, hey, if you thought this was interesting, you want to see more, give it a thumbs up. That's how uh, I know you want to see more about this kind of stuff. And then uh, also, hey, the subscribe button is going to be coming up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.